on December 30, 2000. An unknown assailant entered the Miyazawa household, where he then proceeded to murder everybody inside. The family consisted of 44-year-old Mikio Miyazawa, his wife 41-year-old Yasuko, and their two children, 8-year-old Nina and 6-year-old Ray. The night of the murder, the killer was believed to enter the household by climbing a tree and entering through the second story of bathroom window at the rear of the house. From there, he went into Ray's room where he strangled him. And then Mikio, Mikio then hears the commotion upstairs where he runs up and tries to fend off the murderer but ultimately loses the fight. The killer then delivers a finishing blow to his head with a sashimi butcher knife where the tip of the knife actually broke off into Mikio's skull. He then went to attack Yasuko and Nina with the broken knife until he presumably grabbed one of theirs, a Santoku knife, and eventually killed the both. Following the murders, the killer then stayed in the house for approximately 2 to 10 hours where he did the following. He used her computer, treated his injuries, ate melon, ice cream, drank tea, and used her restroom without flushing, leaving his feces behind. The weirdest aspect of this crime was that he left behind many if not all of his belongings, such as a fanny pack with sand in it tracing back to South of America, a muffler, shoes, and a shirt. From what the police have gathered, it is suspected that the killer is 175 meters tall, with his thin stature, male, 15 to 35 years of age at the murders, right-handed, with European and Asian descent. The morning after the murders, Haruko Yasuko's mom called the household and when they didn't pick up due to the phone line being cut, she grew worried. With her awareness growing, she went to go check on them, but received no answer. To her surprise, when she went inside and checked, she saw everybody murdered. Police weren't able to track back anything that belonged to the killer, but only things such as the sweater that the killer wore was traced back to 12 people. Whereas the sand found in the fanny pack was traced back to the Nevada desert. Fast forwarding to today, the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department is offering a 20 million yen reward for anyone that has any vital information to le leading to any arrest.